welcome back to Seven Days to Die. Now, where am I? You're thinking, where, where is he? Well, I can show you. Last night, I went out on my mini bike, or yesterday, and I basically realised I wasn't going to have time to get back. And so I'm on top of a Parson gas uh, on this tiny sort of three-unit town. Uh, I built myself a little hidey hole. Something you always have to watch out for on a parcel gas. Because there's this secret stairway which I broke the ladders out of here. I didn't realise it was there. I came in through this this hole here. So there's I don't know how many zombies around at the moment. At least one. It's making making enough noise for ten last night, that's for sure. Nothing on her. Okay. But one of the real reasons I didn't want to leave last night was I found this here. Oh. Uh, and I'm going to take that with me. I'm not going to take it without getting mugged from the other of course. Oh, I'm going to take that with me as well. If I search these, I don't know. There's nothing in there I want. Any food. Oh, okay, I'll take those. Not to be sniffed at. Okay, let's repair. Let's take. Hmm. I can't scrap it. So that's no good to me. Okay, scrap. I can't remember if I checked in here or not. Doesn't look like I did. That's kind of disappointing. Oh, I can wrench that from four mechanical parts. Anything in here? Okay. And again, I'll wrench that. See if I can get some mechanical parts out of it. Yep, there's one. Hmm. Oh yeah, I didn't care about it. What we got in here? Oh. Okay, we'll read that. What's this? AK-47. Okay, we'll read that too. Steel arrows. 9mm rounds. Okay, I think I'll take those. Cash in it. What else have we got around here that might be worth mauling before I leave? Let's scrap that for the moment and let's check out what's in here, shall we? I've really got to start making a run for home at some point. Wow, that's two lots of antibiotics. Uh, so that's why I couldn't see the, the ladder from inside when I ran round. Because it's inside the closed toilet. Should have realised. Any clothes in there? No, I can scrap that. Oh, 600 flashlight. Well, I might find a use for a 600 flashlight, who knows? Does this open outside or into another room? Ah, there's a crate in there. Ah, another sledgehammer. Okay. And a hard metal door. That's just a little bit weird. Okay, I can take those. I've got room. Yeah, I've got room for that. That I can scrap. Okay, so I'm kind of... Did I check the loo? No. Okay. Toys out. Oh, I've come out the front. Not sure I meant to do that. But let's check the cars, because you never know. Okay, that'll help fill up my one fuel tank. Take that as well. And this car is ah, 400 battery. 
Okay, I want that more than I want the cloth. Because I can merge that with my current battery. thinking about. <laughs> so on my map I've set I want to go down this road and head generally back home so that's what I'm gonna do. So first of all let's uh, fill that up a bit and then get on it and get down. Which is this way. Back to the main road. Stuck on a yucca. I think that's a song. <laughs> Not entirely sure. Sounds a bit songy. Oh man, so I want to take it easy because you never know what's over the next rise, you know. I'll tell you what's over this rise. Some lag. I had this before. Lag. I'm on fire. There's some serious lag going on around here. I don't know what that is. Missed. Well, it didn't miss, but it didn't take him down. I got him. I just needed a little time because I wanted to have a look in the inventory here. You see, this is mostly empty, so I can afford to uh, put some of this stuff in there. Despite the lag. Oh, it's changing it over, isn't it? Rather than putting it into the basket. Okay, fair enough. Right, let's get going again. Not sure which light is on now and which one is off. One of these is uh, my headlight. Let's, uh, let's get off. Yeah, let's turn that off. Right, okay. Back on again. Now I'm looking for a T junction. Ah, right, so I think I came up the hill, so I'm, I'm going to try going up uh, from down the hill, rather. So I'm going to try going this way, which I think is a different route. Funny effects happening in the hills here. I think it's happening as it's loading it all in, because it's the first time I've been through here. I can't believe I'm getting stuck on a brick. Just a brick. So let's stop and just check I'm going the right way here. Yeah, we're trying out a new road, so I really need to turn, sort of, come across here and then head south, if I can. That looks like a good car. Uh, see what's in it. Nothing worth taking. A oh, couple more cars. <laughs> Sounds like too many bad guys around there for me. I thought I heard two voices. OK. 
Okay, so there's a graveyard over there. Rolling down the hill, just rolling. I just jumped on that rock. It's on those bricks, that's a bit weird. Hello, has this road just come to an end now? It does, and I need to head south. Let's see what's over here. Could be a god awful cliff. Let's have a little look see. Or it could be free meat. Uh, it looks like it's free meat on the edge of a cliff. I think I could go down there. But I need to go round this lake. I think. What's that up there? Is that a deer? Did he come back? Okay. Careful now. Careful. Put the brakes on. I've <laughs> been followed. Slowly. Don't I have any nasty accidents now? And they will be nasty. If I get going any speed going down here, I just walking down a hill I can break my leg. Oh, there's a deer down there. Hopefully I'll see a few more along the route. And a pig. <coughs> there we go, we got him. We got him. And we did need to got him, as we said. We didn't actually, I just enjoyed running them over. Now I've got a new bike to do it with. I'm just mean and nasty. But, you know, I can hear more footsteps. Ah, okay. Thought I heard more then. Okay, so let's open the boot and let's get rid of the meat. So that's already in there and stacking. Watch out for little, little sort of ponds and inlets now as I go this way. Or I'll end up driving my bike in the water, which will be a pain in the bum. Should be alright for a little bit. I'm thinking, as it's quiet, I might take this opportunity to fill up on wood. Because I could do making a whole bunch more of the expensive spikes. Where's my bike? There it is. Okay, so if I fill up with wood here. I can do this while I'm travelling, you see, so I can get these wood spikes. Get another 29 of those going. And uh, refill up on wood. Might as well do it. See, I've lost my bike now. Ah, there it is. So those spikes are going to continue to be crafting. It's got to be very dangerous, though. That's a bear. I 
really hope I can continue to outrun said bear. Oh man, there's a really high hill here. I think I need to go up here. <laughs> He's struggling to get up though. Okay. Oh, there's a road! That's interesting. Okay. So where does this road go, I wonder? Let's check the map. Ah, so this joins up with the other road. So I need to follow this back to my hometown, it seems. Yep. I'm going to check those while I'm here. Oh, I thought I saw more than one. Obviously, I'm making it up and I've already checked that car at some point, probably on the way out. The lag here is disconcerting. To say the least. And I think I've been this way before, that's what's weird. Oh, there's a junction. Now, of course, the question is, which way to go in this laggy lag town that I'm in? So I basically need to head uh, southeast, which is that road. Not that road, okay. Left turn, Clyde. Oh, wow, there's an 80s film reference. Left turn, Clyde. How many people listening are going to get that? I'm showing me age now. Oh, there's an awkward road here. It runs between two bits of water. Yeah, this is the way I've been before. <laughs> I'm really enjoying having the bike, but at the same time, it makes me really nervous. I know driving it into the water is not the end of the world, but it's just a pain, so I'm really trying to avoid that. I'm pretty sure I've checked all these cars, to be honest. Yeah, you can live for another day, Piggy. I've got other things to do. You, however, on the other end, keep running over. No, I was really hoping you were going to die when I did that. I think what I'm going to do here, actually, is pause and take a few trees as I can, and my bike will be easy to find. The lag, however, will be horrendous. Right, let's take these out. I know I'm starting to burn through this, this uh, axe now, which is a bit discouraging, but I would like to get back to my base with uh, 5,000 wood if possible. Bedroll and a cooking grill. That's some very odd things to find. I wonder if it's the water makes it laggy. Did you when I was up above it on the hills I was getting the lag? So I don't really know what the issue is here. But I'm going to keep doing it this one off and check how much wood I've got on me. Two and a half. Okay, let's keep going. Oh wow, is that another stump over there? That is weird. Yeah, I can feel this, this wood axe is um, starting to lose some of its efficacy, which is my favourite word of the day. Goggles, scrap, honey, oh we'll take that, we'll take that honey, don't you worry baby, we'll take care of you honey. And I'm still crafting spots. Now that's where the uh, workbenches are going to be. And I can leave the workbenches crafting and go off about my business. So I've got one back at base. And I think I've now got two on me. 
or in the bike. Another 500. So one more big tree should do it, I think. Yeah, um, so obviously I need to craft a lot of concrete. I want to craft a lot of spikes. And I want to um, craft some special blocks as well for my new rooms downstairs. Like I'm thinking of making some brick flooring. What are we doing for wood now? Yeah, I've gone over 5,000 now, so back to the road and find me bike. I've lost me bike. Well, that didn't take long, did it? Yeah, I've already checked these on the way out. So, let's get going. Anyway, so yeah, I'm going to need to replace this axe as well. But I, I need... I plan on making some... Meh, yeah, miss me. Um, brick flooring, cement blocks, obviously the spikes. Ah, uh, yeah, this is where someone set up a deliberate roadblock of bricks. So, that's, that could easily take up two workbenches. And I'm thinking I might need to get a second metal forge running. But I need to get home first before I can do any of that. So this is uh, hopefully going to take me home. I think it will. We'll see. Hey, there's the hometown, I think. I can see home marked on the compass there. Oh boy, it's going to be so much fun to get home again. And that'll be my first big long expedition complete. Huzzah. Got to get across town first though, haven't I? Wow, this is taking so long. Up, up till now I've been... You've probably heard it actually. I've been tapping tapping the throttle key rather than holding it down to try and conserve fuel to some extent. I also need to uh, come up with some way of having or having somewhere to park this bike that's not going to get mauled by... yeah there's my trees. It's not going to get mauled by a wandering horde that comes in. A lot of people take their bikes into their bases. I've seen them do that. Okay. I'm not sure whether I'll do that myself. Okay, so let's get off. Let's craft like I did while I was out. Plates. Wood plate. Let's craft those. Get, oh, get off my bar, you. Get on my bar, thank you. So if I can find somewhere reasonably flat... Yeah, that's always the issue, isn't it? That's not floating, is it? Is that floating? No, it's not. Okay, so... Stand. There we go. I've lost my bike already. Here we go. So let's try and get this get this bike onto those plates now. I can't steer to save my life. You wouldn't believe I've got a driving licence, would you? <laughs> this is such a silly easy thing to do and I'm struggling. There we go. So it's now on player created block, so it shouldn't disappear through the ground. At least so I've been led to believe. Okay, so let's interact with the boot on this thing. And let's grab some of the gear off of here. I 
haven't got room for anything else. I shall have to come back for all of that. Oh, was that refilled while I was away? No. Okay, let's go get this stuff underground. And into our drop chests by the door. And then get the rest. And then I'm going to feel like I've successfully made an expedition. Unfortunately, my drop chests are now getting rather full. Actually, the weapon bits could go down the bottom, so let's do that. Ah, uh, oh man. I think I'm just going to have to treat it as a drop chest to start with. And I'll have to sort it out later. Ah, oh, I can merge that sledgehammer. I should go do that right now as I have a workbench to hand. And then I think... Oh look, I've left some uh, flagstone stuff in here already. That's good. Look at that, I've fully repaired it now. Excellent. Alright folks, so as you can see I've made it home and all is right with the world. Or nearly all of it. Uh, so I shall see you next time. Bye!